Hello and welcome to the second episode of my 360 degree YouTube VR Q&A series. I just recently came back from a trip to Greece and as always when I travel I was drawing a lot. The art I produce when I travel is not about a specific concept but rather about capturing the mood of a place, of a landscape, of still lives. These are ink drawings on paper. No command Z, every mark is final. Sometimes the drawings turn out nicely, sometimes they don't. The best results happen when I'm in an unconscious flow, when the drawing decides where it wants to go rather than me executing a preconceived idea. Unconscious flow sounds great, but it's actually a tricky mindset to achieve. I found that the best strategy is to take a moment before drawing to remind myself of a few basic rules, almost like a chant. My chant consists of nine lines and I'll give you the list and then I'll explain the details. One, it's showtime. Two, there is no audience. Three, waste paper. Four, you are God. Five, invent. Six, no fear. Seven, no pity. Eight, judge it tomorrow. And nine, consider the elbow. Showtime. Of all the things you do as an artist, nothing matters except for what you are going to do in the next 20 minutes or hour or two hours. If you want to make your mark, if you want to kick Matisse in the shins, forget about the wife, forget about the kids, forget about what you've done in the past or in the future. Everything that matters is going to be happening on this piece of paper. There is no audience, no deadline, no brief, no promises. I can draw whatever the hell I want. If it turns out to be a silly, obvious, adolescent piece of garbage, I can just take it, tear it apart, and nobody will ever know it existed. Waste paper. I had to be considerate of art supplies throughout my teens and 20s, and this is very difficult to get out of the system. I'm fortunate that now I can pretty much afford all the paper and ink that I want, and this is a luxury I have to take advantage of. If I ruin 10 sheets of paper to get that first dramatic tree trunk right, so be it. You are God. A drawing is not a photograph. I don't need to mimic reality. If that palm tree looks better further to the right, I can just draw it there. If there's a village of 200 unsuspecting people just located at the wrong part in the valley, I can just wipe it from the face of the earth. Zoning laws, gravity, none of that applies. Invent. Different parts of a drawing need different graphic translations. I'm not a carbon-based Photoshop filter. If something were for a chair, it's very tempting to use the same style for the flower pot right next to it. Just don't. No fear. Be willing to do something that you might regret. This usually turns out to be the most interesting part of a drawing. No pity. Don't feel sorry for yourself when you fuck things up. I'm sometimes even purposefully ruining a drawing just to toughen myself up. Almost like a martial arts fighter who's practicing to get used to pain. This might sound a little pompous, but those of you who have invested serious time into creating art, they know that this is an extremely emotional affair with draining highs and lows. Judge it tomorrow. I must not judge the drawing while I work on it. Something that might look like a mistake might turn out to be the most interesting part and some other element that would seem very exciting might turn out to be completely obvious and lame. Thinking about the merit of what I'm doing distracts me from actually working on it and I can take time tomorrow and then I can look at it as if somebody else had done it and then I can take all the time in the world to see what went wrong and what went right. Consider the elbow. Drawing is a physical activity. It's a dance between the arm, the hand, the brush on the paper. A bad posture will inevitably affect the outcome. My most common mistake is to sit too far away because the desk is too messy and then my arm hangs midair. I found that the best results for me happen if the arm can rest on the desk a few inches from the edge. Then I take a breath, forget everything I just said and start drawing. But it's important, this is not a recipe for making good art. All it does is maybe increase the odds of something special to happen. 
And now it's time again for a book recommendation. It's called Out of Sheer Rage, Wrestling with H.D. Lawrence by the incomparable Jeff Dyer. It's not really a book about creativity, it's a novel, it's a memoir. And in it, Jeff Dyer describes his process of writing a book about literary criticism. And there's two things I love about this book. The one is that every thought I ever had, every self-pitying emotion about the struggle with creating something, he describes beautifully and of course much better, much more entertaining, wiser and deeper than I ever could. This book is especially dear to me because it introduced me to the work of Jeff Dyer, who is a fantastic writer about art, about observing art and also a little bit about the art world. So thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel, leave your notes and questions in the comments section and see you again soon.